Welcome to Your Cup of Cake's first ever online baking tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to make chocolate malt cupcakes using a basic cake mix recipe. Start with a box of Devil's Food cake mix and sift it into a small bowl to remove any lumps. Next you want to add three eggs, a half a cup of oil, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, and a cup of sour cream. Separately. You mix those separately just to make sure they combine fully before you add the dry ingredients. Wake up one morning, you realize your life is one big compromise. compromise. Stuck in the job you swore was only temporary. Was only temporary. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract for taste and start mixing. Use a whisk to combine the ingredients, but be careful not to beat the eggs too much, or else your cupcakes will fall flat when they bake. To the cake mix, you'll also want to add malted milk powder to make sure you get that chocolate malt taste. I used about a half of a cup. Make sure you stir in your malted milk powder into your cake mix so that's fully incorporated. Then, Pour it into your buttermilk and sour cream mixture. And since you already sifted the cake mix, it should mix in perfectly. Stir with a spatula until all the dry ingredients have been combined. Be careful not to overmix. Line your tins with 24 cupcake liners. To get your cupcakes to be the perfect size when they come out of the oven, make sure you use a food scoop. They come in medium, big, at even small sizes, so no matter if you're making cookies or muffins or cupcakes, you'll always get the perfect size. After you've finished scooping up your batter, make sure you put your cupcakes in an oven preheated to 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. So how do you tell the cupcakes are done? I get asked this question all the time. You can always take a knife, insert it into your cupcakes, and make sure the knife comes out clean. That way you know that they're done. And even you can take your finger, press the cupcake, and make sure it doesn't feel doughy inside. But it's different for every recipe, so always to be safe, I use the knife trick. The trick to perfectly made homemade buttercream is the ingredients. For this recipe, we're including room temperature butter, room temperature cream cheese, lots of powdered sugar, cocoa, and malted milk powder. And just to give that extra taste of flavor, some vanilla extract as well. Beat your cream cheese and butter for three to four minutes and scrape down the bowl as necessary. Then add three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder and two to three cups of powdered sugar. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a cup of malted milk powder, and beat until smooth. The trick with buttercream is to make sure you get the right consistency and the right consistency for what you're planning to do with it. If you just plan to spread it with a knife, then it can be a little looser, but if you plan to pipe it out onto cupcakes or a cake, then it needs to be a little thicker, so a little extra powdered sugar will probably do you well. The next thing you want to do after your buttercream is finished is get your piping bag and tip ready. Today I'm using a 2D tip, so just drop it into the bag, push it up to make sure that all the holes are clear, and put your frosting in. Once you have your piping bag all set and ready to go, make sure your cupcakes are cool to the touch before you pipe frosting on top of them, or else the buttercream will slide right off and you'll have a big mess on your hands. Because these are chocolate malt cupcakes, we're going to top them with straws, but we'll need to cut them down first. To get the perfect bakery swirl, all you need is practice. Start piping in the center of your cupcake, pipe around in circles with constant pressure, release pressure, and then lift. You can also decorate your cupcakes with chocolate jimmies or colored sprinkles. If you don't want to use jimmies, you can also use malt balls. So I'll add a little splash of the red to tie in with the straws, top it with a malt ball, and finish it with a straw. So there you have it, the perfect chocolate malt cupcakes. Join us next week for piping tips and tricks.